Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I'm here to do an empties video. Um, for some reason, my camera is not working, so I have to record this on my iPhone. I know. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and just get right into it. I've been super, super busy lately, so I haven't really had time to make a video, so now I'm going to sit down and make one. Um, the first thing that I finished is the espresso bar candle from Bath & Body Works. I have to get used to which way the camera is. Um, and I finished espresso bar, which is a super, super yummy scent. It smells just like walking into any Starbucks cafe. You have coffee, you have sugar, you have milk, you have everything that you love about going into a Starbucks without having to go in. Now, what's the point? But, um, I love burning this scent in the mornings when I'm up and having a lazy day and and burn it in my kitchen, and the whole house just smells like coffee. Love it, love it, love it. These are all older candles, too, that I've just had sitting around that I wanted to finish up. Just like this oldie. This is Japanese Cherry Blossom. Um, I absolutely despise this scent. Ugh, it smells just like a public bathroom air freshener, like a urinal cake. It stinks so bad. Um, I just burned this. I don't even remember why I bought this. But, um, I burned this one outside because I just wanted to get rid of it. it. Stinks. Um, another one of my all-time favorite scents is Cinnamon Sugared Donut. I love this smell. Mmm, it smells just like the best donut that you've ever had. A cake donut, not a raised donut. Covered with cinnamon sugar warm from the oven. And it's actually funny, one of the wicks burned down a little bit longer than the other. Otherwise, it was a very, very, very even burn. Great scent throw. I believe I still have one or two more of this left. And then I'll have to get more. Then I finished a Christmas scent, Cinnamon Frosting. Um, I know it's like summer and I'm burning all these winter and Christmas and fall scents, but I was just, I'm tired of summer. So um, this is Cinnamon Frosting. Uh, I didn't like this. I mean, I did when I first started to burn it, but then it just started to get sickeningly sweet. And that turned me off. It's not a super spicy cinnamon. It definitely is a very mild cinnamon, but the icing, it's just, whoa, it's way too strong. It's not strong, it's just way too sweet. Then I finished a um, pack of melts from Party Light in the fragrance Mulberry. Now, I do really, really love the Mulberry fragrance from Party Light because it doesn't have any spice. It's just the Mulberry fruit, which is a very, very, very berry type of scent. It's not I would say it's most similar to a strawberry and a blackberry combined. Um, it's really, really yummy. Except I have to use a lot of the melts to actually get a decent scent throw in my warmer. And I have a Party Light warmer. I mean, I melt Yankee and Yankee, Gold Canyon and Gold Canyon, Party Light and Party Light, Scentsy and Scentsy. I try not to mix so I can get the truest fragrance. And I just have to use like four or five to actually get a scent throw. Now, granted... Um, my new house is very large, and I ha I don't remember having used that many before, so that's probably why. But I just feel like the Party Light melts are not the best for me in my new house. Um, then I put in, I still have a couple of the dual wallflower, wallflower bulb units. So I've been using up a lot of these, and this is Renew and Refresh. And I actually have this one in the back, um, in the in the dining room. And, um, I love this scent. It smells just like the picture. You open up your windows in the springtime and all that fresh air just comes in. It's very, very clean. Very, very fresh. I absolutely love it. And then the last fragrancy type thing is a new votive. They were actually having a deal. You got a free votive with any purchase at Yankee Candle. And I did a buy two, get two free deal, which I'll film. But this is in crisp morning air. And I could not decide between this one, or I believe it's called Autumn in the Park, um, and a candle. I went with Autumn in the Park, so I got this as my votive. And it's, I like it, but there's this weird, weird note that should not be in here. I don't think it smells like morning air. I definitely think it's like this really, really sweet smell. Burning, I uh, got around the same thing. It didn't go away. It's like this really off-putting sweet smell. You have to smell it and let me know what it is because I'm not a fan of it at all. I feel like that would be better in a perfume, 
than it would in a candle. I don't know. Next, on to all of the beauty products that I finished up. Um, I finished up a shower gel from Corez, and this was in Guava. Now, Corez shower gels are probably in my top five shower gels. I'm going to start doing videos like that, like my top picks for products. And I love Corez shower gels. They're all made in Athens, Greece. Um, and they just, their scents are so unique. I've never smelled anything like this. And this is a limited edition. A limited edition packaging. But for some reason, they just hydrate your skin so well that you don't even need to use a lotion or their specialty is body butters afterwards. They just hydrate your skin so much and a little, little, little bit goes a long way. Now, because there's this sticker, they do have a little um, guide here so you can see how much it is. And it almost is super creamy. There's a tiny, tiny bit left, but it's hard to get out of the container. But I absolutely love Corez shower gels. They are great. Um, still on the shower gel bandwagon, I finished a Philosophy Christmas cookie. Now, I actually, this was not full when I started it. I mean, it was, but I pulled this out about a week and a half ago when I was really looking for something sweet to take a bath with. And I used this as bubble bath. There was about this much left. And it does not smell like a Christmas. I mean, sure, it smells like a Christmas cookie, but it smells like a sugar cookie. I mean, you can use this all year long. It doesn't really scream Christmas. And again, this is one of my top favorite shower gels. Probably of all time, I love Philosophy shower gels. I mean, they're shampoo, shower gel, and bubble bath all in one. I even use this to shave with. Um, you can use it for all different types of purposes, but their shower gels are pretty much the best. I love them. Um, another brand that I'm obsessed with is L'Occitane. Now, I recently was in New York City, and I took this with me on my trip. A lot of this stuff I actually took on my trip, and this is the Almond Shower Oil. I love this stuff so much. It smells like almonds and vanilla. If you love sweet smells, you will love this. Um, and it's the most unique product in the world. You're thinking oil on my body to clean? Yes. People have gotten over that fact for your face. You can get over it for your body too. Um, you put this on a loofah, it foams up just like a shower gel, but you don't need a body lotion necessarily. That's why I liked taking this to New York because I didn't need to bring a lotion. All I had to bring was this for the shower. And, um, I was there for two days and it lasted, I mean, obviously, and I still... I finished up when I got home, but this even just turns your bath, it doesn't turn it super bubbly, but it turns it into this really, really creamy, um, softening water. It's awesome. I have big bottles of this, pump bottles of this, small bottles of this. This is such a great body wash. This actually won the Ultimate Natural Beauty Bible for Best Body Wash. It's a really, really great product. It's nothing like you've ever seen. I mean, if you just like dump it on your skin right now, it feels like this moisturizing, hydrating massage oil, but you splash water on it and it foams up. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Then from L'Occitane, I also finished up one of their Bon Mare shower gels, and this is in the lemon scent. Now these are awesome. They actually stack up. Um, and <laughs> I just think it's so cool. So you can put more in your shower, but the lemon is perfect for this time of year because we're starting to get into fall. It's still summer. So this is definitely cleansing because of the lemon. You're definitely going to really, really feel invigorated in the morning. But lemons all types of year. I mean, it's not just for one season. And this really is not too fall. Not fall, really, but not summer. It's, it's perfect. And uh, the formula is super, super gentle. Again, a little of this went a long way. And this is actually 10 ounces. So this is a pretty, pretty big size granite when this is six. So this is six and this is 10. It doesn't really look it, but it's pretty big. So these are great value for money. And I also believe, I'm not exactly positive, but I believe these are the cheapest form of a body wash from L'Occitane. Let me see real quick. I'm on their website right now. Um, they're great. There's like a peach. Um, they're $14. So, great bang for your buck. Next, I finished up, still on L'Occitane, I finished one of these, um, one of their bar soaps. Now, if you've been watching me for a long time, you know I do not like bar soap at 
all. It's stripping. It's not hydrating at all. And it's just body wash is so much easier. Except L'Occitane bar soaps. They are triple milled soaps. So they're, they are, the soap particles are milled three times. They're ran through a mill three times. Just like sugar turns to powdered sugar because it's milled. So it's exactly the same way. So there's more soap in this bar of soap than the same size in the drugstore who's not triple milled. So this lasts even longer. Because of that, it's super, super hydrating. Now, Lush, as much as I love them as a company, I don't like their bar soaps because I don't like that feeling. It gives me that stripped feeling like it stripped all the nutrients out of my skin and all the oils. And I just, it's not for me at all. And this is in their milk scent. And I mean, you can use this to shave with, you can use this, you would not use this in your hair, but you can use this as a hand wash. It lasts five to six weeks in the shower. It lasts months and months and months by the hand basin. So it's definitely another great value for money. And I believe these are eight or nine dollars, could be 10, but they're definitely very, very inexpensive. And the milk scent just really smells awesome. Um, still from L'Occitane, I used a lot of L'Occitane is one of their foot creams. Um, this is in their big size. I have a foot cream as well as a hand cream sitting right by my bed. And this has a little key to make sure you get everything out. But um, this foot cream is super hydrating. Um, this is another award-winning product in the Natural Beauty Bible. The only thing that I'm going to say about this, and they, they advertise it this way, this is not a foot cream to put on in the morning, slip on some shoes, and go out for the day. This is a hand, this is a foot cream that you put on before bed. It's super thick. It's really restorative. It's going to get through that callus. It's going to hydrate your skin. It's also going to uh, freshen your skin with lavender and verbena extracts in here. So it's going to freshen your feet. They won't stink either. But you will go slip sliding every which way if you put this on and go out for the day. It is not possible. It's just a super hydrating. So put this on before you go to bed, you'll wake up with gorgeously soft feet once a day. Some people even only do it once a week, but like I don't do this every day in the summer, but in the winter I do. And people can't believe how soft my feet are. Um, then I finished a face wash from Clarisonic. When I purchased my new Smart Profile, I uh, Clarisonic, I actually got this for free. It's just a basic cleanser. Um, nothing great. I just wanted to use it up. Then I finished a body cream, a travel size from Jo Malone, and this is in Peony and Blush Suede. Um, this is an awesome scent. I actually just purchased this in the giant 6.8 ounce uh, cologne size, and they do it once a year at Nordstrom. They create a bottle two times the size, but it's not two times the price. It's great. Um, it's really, really, really hard to describe. It's definitely, definitely floral. But, um, the peony is extremely present. Now, just because there's peony does not mean it's spring. The blush in here, which, the blush suede is a very, very mild fragrance, but it definitely has warmth to it. So you can definitely wear this in the day. You can definitely wear this at night. I like to layer this with other fragrances. This with wood sage and sea salt just makes the scent. Jo Malhoon fragrances are my favorite fragrances, um, and you just have to try this one. It's one of their most popular ones. Then I finished up, finally, the micro delivery peel from Philosophy. Um, as much as I like this, I don't know if I'll be repurchasing it because I found another peel that I will talk about uh, in another video better than this one. Um, so what you do after you clean your face, um, you go ahead and scoop some of this on your skin and it looks like orange juice or not looks like it smells like orange juice. It's super, super scrubby and you just scrub it all over your face. Then you go ahead and take the uh, salicylic acid lactic gel and you pour it in your hands, rub it on your face, or rub it in your hands and then rub it all over your face and it turns into a foam and you leave it on for like three to five minutes and it's just a, a weekly peel. I only use it once a week resurfaces, it brightens and stuff. The only thing that I don't like about it is it's messy. Because once you put this on and once you put the foam in, it just like gets all over the bottle. And um, the new peel that I'm using right now, I like a hundred times better. 
And it's actually cheaper, too, because I believe this is, like, $150, $200? Not exactly positive, because this is the uh, jumbo size. Um, it's pretty pricey, but it's really, really good. I mean, if it wasn't as messy, I would go to the spa and have that done. I just don't like doing it at home. Same with not doing at home. This face mask from Flo from Lush, I love, but I hate doing it at home. This is the cupcake face mask. Now, I'm a teenager, so I break out a lot. And this is chocolate heaven for oily skin. Cupcake calms with cocoa powder and softens with balancing spearmint and sandalwood oils. Now, their masks are probably the cheapest way to go with Lush if you want a decent product. Um, this was $6.95. Their most expensive one is Rosy Cheeks, and it's $12.95. But, um, and if you bring back five of these pots, any size, big ones, little ones, any of them, you get a free face mask. They have to be refrigerated, so they're natural. But this, and I mean, I can still smell it. It smells like mint cupcakes. It smells like a mint chocolate chip cupcake. It smells great. But these go on super cold, which I like. I do not like rinsing these off at the sink. Just this one. It is so thick. Now, granted, you don't have to put as much on, but then it won't be as effective. Um, it's chocolate. So if you try to rinse it, it just, like, glops off your face. Now, granted, your face looks great afterwards. I just don't like the process that you have to go through to get to that step. But um, for that reason, I'm using the Don't Look At Me, which is this bright blue face mask that I'm loving. It'll probably be in another empties video next time because these only last two weeks. Um, because they're fresh, but they're cheaper and you use them. I mean, it's basically for you to use. Um, I just use this in the morning after I, wa I wash my face at the sink, use this and then get in the shower and have it rinse off. And then I have glowing skin. But other than that, I will not rinse this off in the day in the sink. It's just too messy. Uh, two more products. This one is the dream cream and I love this. This is from Lush. I Obviously, it's a body lotion, hand and body lotion. I got this at the grand opening party um, in a little free gift if you spent $80. Um, and, wow, it smells so good. This is basically our number one best-selling Lush product, a soothing and cooling cream designed to moisturize even the most sensitive skin. Anybody can use this from the neck down. I don't recommend using this on your face, but it's so hydrating. I use this to help heal my tattoos. I used this for all different types of things. Um, my dad has really bad eczema and psoriasis, and this really helps it. It really tones it down and just really makes it the best, the best skin possible with very natural extracts. It doesn't have much scent to it at all, but it is a great product. This is a small size. I believe the full size is $25. I do have that. I love it, but that's the dream cream. And then last but not least is a product that I will for sure be repurchasing, or not even repurchasing, purchasing. I got this as a sample last time I was there, and this is Angels on Bare Skin Facial Cleanser. Now this is a cleansing roll. Um, there's none left, obviously. It's an empties video. You scoop it in your hands, and then rub together with water, and it turns into this paste, and then you rub it on your face, and it has exfoliators in it. I believe, uh, I could be wrong, I believe this is rice or lavender as an exfoliator. Either way, it really is an amazing exfoliating facial wash. It comes in a roll. You can slice it and get how much you want, just like their soaps. And then it comes in a big black pot. Um, but anyway, this is a very, very gentle cleanser. Very, very calming. Helps with redness and soothing sore skin as well. But I really, really like this. I will probably be purchasing this the next time I go to the Lush store. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this crazy 20-minute empties video um i'm terrible at this schedule thing i'm so terrible at it but i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and i'll talk to you all soon bye